Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Maria Soreo. Now, if you're looking for something fun to do around the peninsula, we have the show for you as the Norris Theater presents 39 Steps. It was the longest running comedy thriller on Broadway. Now, here's a sneak peek from the cast. Well, we've got four actors here to play about 2,000 characters on stage for 39 Steps. And uh, we're doing a little sneak peek to talk about how the rehearsals are going and um, to talk about this very creative, confusing play that you all are going to be doing at the Norris Theater. Tell us a little bit um, how, about how you play multiple characters all at one time. Ooh, um, brain power. I don't know. Um, we just we work hard on each individual piece and then... You know, I don't, it all Probably, comes together. Right, yeah, it all comes together. <laughs> um, it, it, it's hard to keep it all straight sometimes. I'm, even uh, uh, me, that's done the show a couple of times mm -hmm. uh, with a new group of people, it, it's so fast and furious. We're like on a roller coaster ride right. with the audience. And it's so fast and furious that sometimes you get off stage wearing a hat. You go, what am I doing now? Who am I? What accent do I need to be putting on here? Uh, do I have the right costume on? So I'm lucky I get to look at my partner in crime over there, Kenny. And uh, usually um, he's a little more grounded than I am because he's focused and uh, I look at him and go, oh, okay, that's the scene we're about to do and get my proper accent going and, uh, and join the roller coaster ride. Did you have to take classes in being a quick change artist or? <laughs> No, I don't think so. I think I'm still learning. He says he's looking to me because I'm grounded. But last night I was, we were rehearsing, and I'm playing two characters in the one scene. And I ran off and was doing the wrong voice, trying to get back on to be the other <laughs> character. So I think we're still just trying to work it all out. You know, Hitchcock, there's always so many twists and turns. How much fun is that to perform? Oh, it's a blast. I mean, this is one of the best experiences I've ever had just in the rehearsal process alone. We haven't even gone on stage yet. And the, the story itself is rich and fun, but then the manner in which we're telling the story is a, an additional layer of wild, wacky fun that we get to play on top of it. I'm the lucky one because I, get, I only play one part, but I get to watch these three guys and gal uh, just create an entire assortment of, of different locations and characters and, and even inanimate objects at, at certain times. Um, and I had an, a one time during rehearsal where I was, we were doing a scene, uh, Karen and I were doing a scene, and I thought to myself, oh wait, I can't tell her about that because she's not in that scene. Oh wait, yes she is, she's just a different <laughs> character. So it does, you know, there, there is a lot of, of that happening where you, you know, it, it's a lot to juggle at once, but what fun. We've been ha we're having a blast, I think. The, you know, the longest running show on Broadway, comedy thriller. Any have you, any of you seen it? Not live. Okay. I haven't have you seen it? Have I seen saw it? a production uh, Laguna uh, okay. Playhouse last year. Was it it was an it was a non union touring production of it. And I think we've all, um, including Ken the director, have seen enough of the um, video pieces of some of the scenes on YouTube mm -hmm. that we all have a sense of the style and the world of this particular play in terms of the, the high style of it. Does this sort of help you when you're Taking on roles like this to see something like that first, or? Uh, I think it's a. I think it'd be a mixed bag. If yeah. it's something that's the audience is so familiar with, I think it's good to have sort of a grounding in what what the origin is. Especially like if you're doing something like Shakespeare or something, you kind of okay, this is how it's done. But then it's that what layer am I going to bring to it? What what new element maybe is going to come out in it? So I think that's always interesting to see. Yeah, I would assume the more you rehearse this, the more layers come out as well. Is that right? Absolutely. I mean, there are certain set pieces that if people have seen this a production of this, they'll go, oh, the train scene, it's done like this. That's true to a degree. I mean, there's a certain blueprint mm -hmm. um, that we all have a shared vocabulary with. But the wonderful thing about this show is, just like there are several recipes for various apple pies, mm -hmm. um, our particular recipe is going to taste different right. than another person's apple pie because we have four different personalities who, uh, and Ken, God bless him, wonderful director, he's able to sculpt and collaborate with all the different choices that we bring. So we might have five or six different ideas mm -hmm. for a particular moment or a particular scene, and Ken will say, mm, that's good, or no, keep that, but let's lose that. So he's really the master sculptor of all the choices that we bring to him for him to edit and say yes or no. I have to ask you all, is this the first time you've ever worked in the Norris Theater? Because this theater seems like the perfect place for 39 Steps. It is. It's it's a perfect place to do it. And no, I actually, um, many of us have, but I'm very fortunate. This is my very first time oh, at Norris. Wow. Yeah. What, and what was your first feelings when you saw it and you walked in? It's it's an adorable space. It's a beautiful space. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody's wonderful. and. Yeah, it's very, very blessed and thrilled to be here. Yeah. yeah. What about for you? 
Yeah, it's my the first time I saw it was at the audition. So, yeah. and it's such a cool space because the balcony sort of sits right over the mm-hmm. the main floor, and so it used everyone. I think there's no bad seat in the house, and especially for this show, it keeps kind of that intimate setting, which I think is going to be really beneficial for this. The, yeah, production. it almost seems to be a New York feel to it. Just a smaller theater in here in Southern California. It's got a great intimacy to it. I mean, the minute you walk in, you, you can even be in the back row of the audience and still feel like you're so close to the, the to the action on the stage. It's one of the LA's crown jewels in terms of small intimate spaces, I think. Yep. Yeah, and this play in particular is is sort of there's a layer of being about coming to the theater because the play begins and ends in a theater, right. and it's nice to have such a beautiful space to reference and and create that magic of being in a theater inside that theater so it's wonderful i am now with the director of 39 steps ken parks and this must be so much fun to be directing and a little crazy all at the same time you've described it perfectly it's uh it's a it's a blast i mean uh, we're having the time of our lives it's uh there's no better way i think than to create and this is a beautiful environment to create together as a cast and then there's it's daunting at times too because although it's a show that is kind of madcap and fun there's this terrific spy thriller story there based on the Alfred Hitchcock film and so we have to be true to that but then zany and wacky all at the same time and precise that's the thing that is really daunting is the precision of all of these things you know usually as a director you're working with one actor who's playing one character you're building the layers these guys don't and and the girl doesn't have time to build layers has to be done very quickly. What is that like for a director to sort of get your ideas and their ideas all in the same place for many characters? Well, my my thought is, especially something like this that is an ensemble piece, mm-hmm. is that there is no way to... You can come in with knowledge of where we want to go, but I think you truly have to open this up to the creativity of the group. And so it really isn't so much that I'm directing. You know, I I often say to the group, I'm the obstetrician here. I'm helping with the birth in the sense that we have uh, five creative people that are all together. And that's really the fun of it. And I think that joy that we're having creating will transfer to the audiences, although it's this great you know, Hitchcock thriller about a man and mis, uh, you know, he's uh, misidentified as being involved in a murder and he's on the run and being chased all throughout Great Britain. Uh, it still is this kind of zany, fun, madcap uh, adventure. And we're laughing and having a great time. And uh, we're all creating it all together. And there's such joy in doing it. I think the audience is just going to love it. Yeah, I yeah. had to ask your actors if they'd ever seen the show on Broadway, one of the longest running comedy yeah. thrillers. Had you ever seen it? Oh, we, I actually didn't see it on Broadway, but I saw it when it came out to the Amundsen, which okay. is sort of a bigger yeah. house. So it lost a little of the intimacy. Uh, so I'm really excited for the audiences to see it in the Norris because. Right. It's, I think it's just the perfect venue for it. You know, it's, it's uh, this beautiful theater, and then it also, but it also has, you know, you're, you're there in the action. It's close, and uh, you're connected to it. So I think they'll really respond well to it. You know, interesting, one of your actors has done this before. So mm-hmm. what is it like to work with one person, at least, who knows it so well? I, well, here's the thing about Lewis that is amazing. Sometimes you can find an actor who's done these things before, and that is a, a terrific asset. But what uh, kicks him up a notch above is that he is an actor who, although he has all of that experience and he brings it, which is, you know, <laughs> such such a blessing. Yes. Uh, he has knowledge and can help us avoid, you know, traps. But he also has the skill to understand that each time is new, Mm -hmm. and so he's not stuck in something else. You know, there's never, he's never once in the rehearsal process has said, well, here we did it this way, and, you know, he's, I mean, long story endless, he's fantastic, and it's been, he's been, we couldn't have done it without him. No, also, you can't do it without many people helping people to change. How does that work? (laughs) Yeah, well, it's it's an ongoing process. That's one of the benefits of Lewis, who's had to do those changes, and I think it's a matter of, you know, it's one of those shows where you just have to do a lot of homework ahead of time, right? And you ask a lot of questions of people who've done it before, and you're, you know, not foolish to think that you have all the answers and you're open, you know, you check the ego at the door a little bit and you uh, you ask and figure out. And so we're still in the process of that, you know, so that's part of the fun of this show is, you know, the audience will come enjoy this thriller. The real thriller is probably happening backstage. We hope we make the changes. So if you come to the theater for nothing else, come to see if we can do it. 
you, you can know, do it. I think you I think, can do well, it. I think we're going to make it. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, but I, and that's kind of the three ring circus uh, kind of aspect yeah. of this, too, is it really is, although it's uh, based on the film, it really is four actors playing all of those characters and using trunks and doors and ladders to recreate a, a steam train going through Scotland. Uh, there's uh, biplanes. Uh, uh, you know, he's being chased. Our hero's being chased on the moors by biplanes. Uh, they're forming all of these different. There's a car that gets formed and, and then unformed or taken apart on stage. So it's a, it's a, really, I think it's fun to just even the aspect of, oh, gosh, how are they going to do that? Or yeah. will they be able to pull it off is really exciting. Well, you know? I think because it's Hitchcock, all the twists and turns, the audience goes through that with you, which is always fun. Yeah. And I think this is the, you know, there's something to be said about the, the 39 steps. It's a favorite for many. And it's really the, you know, uh, we owe a lot to this film because it was the first time that uh, Hitchcock discovered it, uh, which is the idea of that uh, innocent man accused on the run. And that has been the formula now for every single action Happen, film. Yes. I mean, you probably you could name five of them from last summer, right? right. Will Smith uh, finds out that he's got a, the wrong computer disk <laughs> and he's chased by the government, right? Well, there's only like what nine scripts or something, right? right yeah, right, nine right. ideas, yeah. and then everybody uses them. Yeah, I think Groucho said there are seven jokes in the world, and the rest are all variations on the exactly. theme. So I get it. Yeah. Very good. Well, that will be January 24th through February 9th. Get out to the Norris and see the show. Thank you for spending a few minutes with us, and uh, good luck. Pleasure. Yeah, we're gonna need it. Thank you. <laughs> And the show will run from January 24th through February 9th. And if you would like ticket information, you can go to the Norris's website at norriscenter.com. I'm Marie Sorreo, and we'll see you at the show.